Hey, here's the overview for <clears throat> this uh, Sunday lesson for September 8th. Uh, throughout the month of September, we're going to be talking about the different days of creation. So since we missed uh, Taylor Lake, we're going to be combining weeks one and week two together. Um, so first one here, talking about sky and the water, uh, light and dark. That's all a uh, recap of day one. For sky and water, you could have the kids uh, sit down on the blue rug here. And then I have attached this light blue tablecloth up to the ceiling. And then as the kids are sitting down, tell them to reach up toward the sky. And then you can blow some bubbles. I have bubbles over there. You can blow some bubbles down as they uh, are reaching up toward the sky. And then there's your discussion points there. Let's reach up and touch the sky as I blow these bubbles. And then reach down low to touch the water. Um, so after that, you can play the September 1st video on the Roku. And then you can continue on with your activities. We have the memory verse with motions. There are no supplies for that, but there are your uh, motions that go along with each part of the verse. Next, you have the light and dark crawling that also goes with the week one message. So for this, um, instead of a play tunnel, I just got this little pop-up tent. And then you can invite uh, two or three kids at a time to go in there and experience the darkness by tossing this bed sheet over top of the pop-up uh, tent. So allow kids to take a few turns. Uh, I, I don't think it'd be the best idea to have someone go by themselves because kids might really get scared of the dark, but um, I think that they'll like that, uh, experiencing the light and the dark. And then uh, next, we're gonna be getting into the week two part of this where we're talking about uh, land, plants, and sea. So for this one, fruit, tree, picking, and sorting. I divide the group into three different teams and then you can set this fake tree down on the ground somewhere and in this fake tree are three oranges, uh, three pears, and three strands of grapes. So you can divide the kids into three different teams. There's an orange team, a pear team, and a grape team. Have them do kind of a relay race to go down and try to uh, find a piece of their fruit and bring it back to their team uh, relay race style. Uh, next activity here for land, plants, and sea are the nature bags. So I have these bags right over here. Uh, inside each bag are a couple things from outside. And so this one is, I can't really open it with one hand. Uh, you have grass and sticks in here. Then you have rocks and leaves in this one. And then in the blue bag, my favorite, just good old fashioned dirt. So what you can do with this is uh, allow the kids to take some turns just kind of blindly reaching in and feeling and trying to guess what sort of uh, item is in the bag, land, uh, plants, those kinds of uh, categories. So I think the kids will enjoy that sensory type activity. Uh, after nature bag, you have land and sea. Think of this as basically like the lava game, the volcano game of like, you know, oh, don't step on the numbers or whatever, it's lava. However you want to do that. Um, but my thought on this is that the blue rug can be water and the kids have to stay on the land. And so I've got these plates. You can uh, unwrap these and then scatter these around the rug and maybe make it kind of like a hopscotch where they have to get from one side of the rug to the other by stepping on the land on the green plates. Um, so you can have a fun game in that regard. And I believe that's the last one. So uh, you're trying to cover two different weeks, uh, which also at some point over the course of the lesson, try to squeeze in the September 8th video as well. So try to get in two videos with all these activities. Uh, I don't think there's any activity that'll take like a super long time. I don't think there's any craft activities or anything. So this may be a, a little bit faster paced week, um, but I think the kids will really enjoy it. Thanks.